This is Neil Schneider for MTBS TV. I'm at CES 2013. And you know, as usual, when we come to CES, we, we spot really interesting things, and, and today is no exception. To my immediate right is Alfred Chong, and to his right is, is Frank Chen. And together, they have a, a really neat overlay for cell phones that lets you view stuff in 3D. Frank, can you explain you know, what we're seeing here and how it works? This is, this is actually a protection film for iPhone 5. It acts like a thin film and it applied to the iPhone 5 as a adhesive layer. And it has anti-scratch, bubble free and easy to install. And now we come with a 3D as a extra features. Excellent, excellent. Now, um, Alfred, can you explain uh, which types of cell phones or smartphones would be compatible with this? Well, the market is typically any high resolution cell phone. So you're talking about, in this instance, iPhone 5, iPhone 4, and it would go as, as high as the tablet size, so the iPads. We're looking at Samsung S3 and the S4 when it comes out. We've just picked up a HTC DNA phone, so we'll be able to prescribe the lenses to fit over that, the pixels. Because the technology is quite interesting. I mean, you, in, in, if you look at it real quickly, it's just a piece of plastic. But, but it actually has, in, in this particular format, half a million lenses. And the lenses are so small that it's the size of half of your hair. So by, by having the lenses fit over the high resolution pixels, we're able to disperse light. So your left eye will see something invariably different from what your right eye see. And therefore, you get the 3D effect. It, it, it's really, I have to say, I've seen all kinds of stuff on the market, and this is really, really impressive. Yes. Now, um, as far as getting it on the smartphone, you mentioned that these pixels are very, very tiny. I mean, thinner than a human hair. How, how is it that you could get the, the film onto the cell phone and that it matches up? It's actually the uh, same thing as a protection film. It has to apply uh, by the border of the guidance of the phone and you can easily uh, install. And no need to worry about bubble or any uh, uh, misalignment. But how do you, like is there an alignment process? Is there, uh, yeah, there is. we have a technique? Step installation guide. Okay, so is it like a software kit that you, you run after you've placed the film on the phone? Yes, there is an installation guide uh, that we will show user how to install it. Okay, yeah. excellent. Excellent, excellent. Now let's talk a little bit about the software support. I mean, this is obviously a very unique piece of technology. How do you actually get the you know, 3D images onto the phone itself? The images will take essentially left and right any stereoscopic uh, image. And what we have created is, is an application that you can download from iTunes or the Android store. And so it interprets the content in, in essentially left and right format, and then we re uh, fragment the, the pixels and then have it displayed in 3D. So that's essentially how it's done. We're unique because we can handle uh, portrait and landscape at the same time. And our pixel uh, arrangement is, is not up and down, not left to right. It's actually a patented process which we, we did diagonally. So you probably will not find this anywhere else. And do you lose, uh, I'm curious, when you're viewing the images in 3D, uh, do you lose any resolution? resolution? Are there any trade-offs with the technology? Because the lens is so small, the loss of the resolution is not that much. Uh, still, we able to handle the left and right content that is available in the 3D TV uh, market. Okay. And is it considered a, a multi-view technique? Because I'm looking at this and, you know, you could kind of view different angles. Is it multi-view or, or is it just left-right view on the screen at a time? It can support multi-view. It also can support left and right, depending on the original content. If the original content has two views, then we can support. If it, the original content has five views, uh, we also can uh, interpolate it into a glass-free display. Okay, excellent, excellent. The views actually is essentially lenses in other technologies like the uh, parallax barrier that's being used in the DS, Nintendo DS, it's actually two view, but it's because it's parallax and as you move, um, you actually see, you get thrown off. Because this is lens and we have gradient accuracy of up to about five nanometers, it's very forgiving. So you can actually look at a site and still see it. And then there's also one particular advantage in 2D, it will function as a privacy screen. So if you are able to bring something out, you can touch sensitive, there's no effect. You are able to still read your normal text. 
normal text and SMS and anything. So there's no uh, desecration on the 2D uh, function of any smartphone. So what I'm gathering is, even though you have this film placed on the phone, you, you're still able to use it for your day-to-day, -day and it doesn't interrupt with the traditional 2D viewing. Am, am I correct? Yes, yes. That is important, because that's a unique selling picture, a feature that other technologies can't do. So you have, it, can, it cannot function in 2D. So we've been able to do that. And it can support landscape and portrait, uh, 3D. Excellent, excellent. And did you mention something about a privacy filter? I, I'm not sure I heard you correctly. So essentially what it does is that in, in 2D, uh, if you take a look at this, spot on, you can read. Mm -hmm. But if you, if you tilt it on the side, it becomes, it has a, there's a bit of an effect. Yeah. So the person on your left and right will not be able to read. So it acts, it doubles up also as a, as a privacy film. So it has all sorts of features all bundled into uh, um, a piece of plastic that retails for about $30. And, and what type of uh, software would you like to see running on uh, on these? What type of types of applications do you see uh, appropriate for this? The um, the apps come with a media player free. It comes with the ability for you to take a, a picture, just as you do in panoramic, and the two pictures to give you 3D. And we actually hope to to actually uh, have game developers work with us so they can actually feature their games in 3D. And that we do through an SDK that we work with them and, and they sell and we develop the apps in 3D for them. Have you, have you started working with any developers yet? Uh, on, on the games, one or two. So we intend to go to market in about a couple of months' time with game developers. Excellent, excellent. Now, uh, from a game developer's point of view, uh, do they have to do anything special to work with, with your software? You mentioned an SDK. Is it enough to just have a side-by-side? -side? Like, what, what needs to happen? Uh, the content has to be like 3D TV. It support left and right camera view. And we, it's quite easy for us to uh, pass on the plugin or SDK to do the uh, top layer to do the live streaming, live conversion of the left and right into the grass free format. So let's say, let's say I have a game that's already out and I don't want to do any extra programming work and I've got a side by side mode. Do you have like a middleware that captures that and converts it to your format or does the game developer still have to do a little more work to make it work? Take for example, I have a live demonstration that this is the original format left and right. You can see that I can switch be in between the, the original format, sorry, the original format and the grass free format. And so it doesn't require any middleware. It's only a add-on to the software. Okay. Okay, very good. And um, well, this is really, really impressive. I, when, when, when will it be available? We intend to go into production right away, so it'll actually be available in a couple of months. Excellent. And, and now I know we're looking at smartphones. Will this work on tablets as well? Up to tablets, yes. yes. And uh, price-wise, what, what should we look, what should we expect to spend on something like this? Um, on this itself, retail will be about $30. On a tablet, it should be about $50. It should cost no more than a privacy film or high-end protection film, but it'll double up as a 3D film as well. So that's, that's the intent. Well, thank you, gentlemen, for joining us. Very, very impressive. I think there's uh, some real potential behind this. I hope, I hope the software developers take, and the entertainment makers take a, an equal interest in this. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Well, thank you. thank you for joining us. This is Neil Schneider at CES 2013. And of course, we will be back with more. Thank you for watching.